Hello students, today we are going to learn how to calculate the volume of a trapezoidal RCC footing. So for that, let us go to the sketch and try to see what we have here. Here we have a column which is of a size of 0.23 by 0.45 and the column has got a footing which is of a dimension of 1.2 meters by 1.2 meters. If you see the footing from the side, you will see that the footing has got a rectangular part which is the lower part of the footing and a trapezoidal part which is the upper part of the footing. The height of the rectangular part small d is 0.15 while as the height of the trapezoidal part h is 0.35. The total size or total height of the footing here is big D which is 0.5. Now with this data with us, let us try to calculate the volume of the trapezoidal footing. So to calculate the total volume of the trapezoidal footing, we will have to calculate the volume of the trapezoidal part which is going to be V1 as has been shown here plus the volume of the rectangular part that is V2 as can be seen here. So these will be the two parts of the footing and we will have to add them together. Now to calculate the volume of the trapezoidal portion V1 we will use the formula V1 is equal to H by 3 into A1 plus A2 plus under root A1 into A2. Now let us see what is H, what is A1, what is A2 by going to this sketch here. So what you will see here is that H which is denoting the height of the trapezoidal portion which we saw earlier here 0.35 has been derived like this. The total height of the footing which was D less the rectangular part that is 0.15 that gives us 0.35. Now area A1 is the top of the footing here and area A2 is the bottom of the footing here. Now how do we come to A1? To come to A1 what we do is we add a distance of 0 0.075 on both sides of the column along the width and along the length because what we have is a sort of a ledge all around the column which is used for supporting the formwork. So to find out the area here what we do is we add 0.15 to this dimension that is the width and 0.15 to the length of the column. So that is what we precisely have done here. A1 is equal to 0.23 plus 0.15 multiplied by 0.45 plus 0.15. So that gives you a total of 0.38 into 0.6 which gives you a value of 0.228 square meters. So this is the area at the top of the footing which has been denoted here. Now to calculate the area at the bottom we know that the size of the footing is 1.2 meter by 1.2 meter. So A2 is going to be 1.2 into 1.2 that gives us 1.44 square meter. So this is going to be the values which we are going to substitute in this equation. So when we substitute these values we get V1 is equal to 0 0.35 upon 3 into 0 0.228 plus 1.44 plus under root 0 0.228 into 1.44. So what we have done is we have substituted these values in the equation. After working out this equation, we get a value of V1 is equal to 0.26 cubic meter. So this is the first part which we have completed, that is the volume of the trapezoidal portion V1. Now we will go to the second part, that is the volume of the rectangular part. So to calculate the volume of the rectangular part, we know that the dimension of the footing is 1.2 by 1.2. So this is the dimension and the height of the rectangular portion is 0.15 which we see here. Therefore 1.2 into 1.2 into 0.15 that gives us 0.216 cubic meter. 
Now we know that the total volume is equal to the volume of trapezoidal portion plus the volume of rectangular portion. That means total volume of trapezoidal footing is V1 plus V2. That gives us 0.26 plus 0.216. That works out to 0.476 cubic meter. So that is how we calculate the volume of a trapezoidal footing. I hope this is clear to you. If you have any qu queries, you can get in touch with us on the email shown at the end of the lecture. Thank you.